122, 7B122, phy, phy, phyllosilicates, Earth's crust, Big Bang Theory, dark matter while study. Here's the alien radio signal. And this is, let me move this down just a smidge so you can see it. There. Okay, so phyllosilicates from Earth form Earth's crust with six ring tetrahedron atomic reaction in the Big Bang Theory plus dark matter particles found in line 22 wild data. Okay, so line 22, 7B121, Big Bang Theory, Dark Matter Nebula, NGC 2392, Cold Hot Formula, well study. And yes, I did change it from theory to the word formula because I found a formula in there. So that's when I started talking about my theories about the Big Bang and how I prove that they are possibly true. It's for you to decide. So December 9th, 2013, my thoughts. Okay, silicate minerals form a ring when heated. Will this apply to the Big Bang Theory? Keyword from silicate minerals. Now, where did I get the idea of silicate minerals? From clear quartz crystals, which are in Earth's crust. They're all over the place. They're like everywhere. So there you go. So they form rings of six tetrahedron. So um, that came up on the Google search thing. When I did a search for silicate minerals, that came up. So from previous video... Um, this has to go formula. Uh, I googled the keyword form rings of six tetrahedra. The keyword phyllosilicates and my thoughts. Um, in formula. Yeah, this is distorted again because I can't think straight. Okay, Big Bang equals heat plus ultra cold atoms plus how do we form Earth's crust? That was the question. So we figured out that um, you heat some ultra-cold atoms, there could be a big explosion from it. So how do we form Earth's crust? There should be a ring formation because the Earth's in a circle. So we look up atoms that form six tetrahedra, and this is what I find. Quotes and diagrams are from a blog. Physolilicates, class of hydroxyl bearing silicate minerals with a sheet-like structure. The result from aqueous alteration are dominantly serpentine and smectite in meteorites. So they're found in meteorites, which are supposedly fragments from planets and stuff that have exploded. So found in the matrices of carbonaceous chondrites, phyllosilicates consist of repeating sequences of sheets of linked tetrahedra T and sheets of linked octahedra O. The T sheets consist of linked silica tetrahedra with a hydroxyl group of OH at the center of six fold tetrahedral rings. That's what they look like. Kind of a star formation and triangles. <coughs> the O sheet is formed of sheets of OH anionic groups with the spaces between OH sheets occupied by divalent cations Mg2+, Fe2+, and trivalent cations Al3+, and Fe3+. If all three octahedral cation sites are occupied by divalent cations, the sheet is termed tri tri trioctahedral. If sites are occupied by trivalent cations, one of these three sites remains empty to maintain charge balance, and, and it, the layer, is termed di co dioctahedral. And that's from www.4.nau.edu <coughs> about meteorites. Okay, my thoughts and theories and formula. So the Big Bang Theory plus dark matter plus meteorites with smectite in them the OH plus O sheet plus anionic groups with spaces between the OH sheets occupied divalent cations plus Mg square two Mg ugh, Mg two plus Fe two plus and trivalent cations Al three plus Fe three plus plus. I had to divide these up because there was so many of them, and I wanted the videos to stay under five minutes. So this is why we're going to continue in the next one. So the keyword to Google is tri triocahedra. It's going to be in the next video. Thanks for watching.